tires I got are the Falcon Wild Peak AT3s, and they are a size 285, 45, 22. So definitely a unique size. As a matter of fact, I think they just came out actually as far as Falcon just released this size for this model of tire. And not a whole lot of YouTube videos on them or really any posts about them on Instagram or anything like that. So hopefully this is a first for some folks if you're looking for a uh, 285, 45, 22 in this tire. It is uh, kind of hard to find, but they look really good. They perform really good. I'm excited to show you guys here. So we're gonna have some clips before and, and after um, all of this intro part. So it's gonna be kind of weird, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Let's get right into it. I've been running for a couple minutes. We're running out of daylight actually. So this video is probably gonna go into a next day, but I wanna give you some initial looks just outside here before I freeze to death of the new tires. I went with the Falcon wild peak at3s very good looking tire they are completely snow rated with the the three peak snow logo or whatever it's called as you can see here hopefully so they are rated for the snow i think it's a very good looking tire overall kind of looks good here with some snow covered on it go around to the back get a good view from the back If you've been a part of the channel for a while, you know that I live kind of off the beaten path on some private property on the mountain here in the town in which I live, which requires to go up and down a pretty steep hill. So I wanted to kind of show you what these tires are, what at least my first initial reaction is of them and how uh, I believe they have some very good grip. So we are on a eight degree slope, as you can see here. Let me show you that and the road is completely covered in snow uh, very cold obviously it's not really icy icy but it, it is completely packed down so we're gonna get going here kind of show you got up to about 10 miles an hour and i'm gonna slam on the brakes pretty hard here slam on the brakes abs is coming on but i've come to a full stop and got grip already uh totally stopped here and if you're if we're just kind of like coasting down um just kind of tapping the brakes ever so slightly, not really being hard on them. Truck is totally handling it fine. We're at seven degrees here of uh, of grade. So um, really, really, there's a dog out here. Needs to get inside before it freezes. Uh, but yeah, totally snow-packed road on a very steep, we're at 9% here. And this is you know a road I travel daily. <clears throat> Be hard on the brakes here, slamming on them. A little ABS, but come to a complete stop no problem so really pretty happy with them so far my old tires definitely didn't perform like that of course you're going to slide a little bit when it's uh slick roads like this on this deep of a grade but as you can see here we are cruising you know a solid like 17 miles an hour and good slope take the turn no problem at all light on the brakes feels really comfortable so far uh, it's been a, about uh, about a month since I very first got these tires and made that original clip of uh, driving down that really steep hill in the um, on the ice there and I've had about a month of driving I've taken it on a uh, work trip which wasn't very far but like a hundred miles on the uh, the interstate um, and I've done a lot of in-town driving a lot of snow driving we've had a lot of spring snow so a lot of wet heavy slush snow um, and I feel like it's been enough miles and different types of driving experience that I can make this video final and get you at least an honest answer and um, not feel like I'm just slapping a video out there to, to get content out there. So I've showed you a little bit of what they do in the snow. It's hard to do. Just take my word that they are performing extremely well. I would say these perform very similar to how my BFG KO2s performed on my Silverado, which you can check out that video as well on the channel. There's a couple different videos of those tires on the channel, but these ones so far, I've experienced great grip in the snow and, and slush and ice because we've been getting just a ton of that, as I said. And so if it comes to winter driving and that's a concern of yours, I'm a big fan of these so far. They one of the big things that I touched base on on like the last video I did for my stock tires or stock-ish type of tires is you know road noise and how they handle on just your day-to-day -day driving. As you can see here, we're cruising 30-ish miles an hour 
and other than me talking, it's it's relatively silent. So road noise is definitely uh, minimal for what kind of tire it is. It is, I think, a fairly aggressive tire. It's not a mud tire, of course, but it, for, as far as looks go, it looks aggressive. I've had uh, three or four people already actually make a comment to me about how much they like them. So they and it's like them as in how they look. So uh, as far as road noise goes, I'm very happy with them. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I actually had a work trip. It was just a couple days ago, um, about 100 miles for, I just had a meeting out in another city or town and uh, took it on the interstate. Our interstate travel is 80 miles an hour through here on I-25 in Wyoming. So I was cooking at about 83 miles an hour they didn't have hardly any road noise. I'm getting about 16 miles a gallon right now on this tank, which, well, on this trip, which I filled up for way too much money uh, just the other day. So I got like 64 miles on this trip since fill up. I'm averaging 16 miles a gallon on the calculator for the uh, truck. So, and that's been in some snow, and I do live up on the mountain. So there's been a couple trips, you know, up the mountain, up the hill, um, and you know, some remote start and a little bit of snow driving. You wouldn't think that because it's so clear outside, but this time of year we'll get three or four inches of snow and it'll be melted the next day. So uh, anyways, I don't know how much the fuel economy is gonna suffer. I would imagine maybe a little bit, just because it is a, a lot more aggressive tire. A little bit of battery left on the GoPro, so I wanted to get you some exterior shots of the new tires out at one of our normal spots to come do these little videos. I'm gonna try to make this quick. Uh, so let's take a peek at them right here in the daylight and keep you out of the wind a little bit. But as you can see, they are really, really good looking tires. Uh, aggressive tread pattern and uh, fairly aggressive sidewall. You know, being that this is a 22, it's kind of hard to have too much of aggressive sidewall because, well, there's just really not much there, as you can see. So it's, uh, it, it is a good looking tire. I think if you have a 22 inch wheel, it's a great, great fit for you. Fits nicely, sleek look, really, really, really good performing in the snow, as I said. Take you around to the back, as you can see here on the back side fits in there pretty well you can get a view from underneath here as well try to keep you out of the wind gopro dot so we're on the iphone camera but as i was trying to finish up there and say these are the 285 45 22 falcon wild peak at3s hopefully one of the first on youtube that have this size they're kind of rare they just came out as far as this size in this um, model so I'm really happy with them so far if you're in the market for a tire like this so far I highly recommend them and I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video find it informational drop a like comment subscribe whatever you got to do I greatly appreciate any of it hope you have a great day take it easy